welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new today i am doing a poundland haul um just before i get started i want to just apologize for not uploading as frequently as normal and also about my face <laughs> um basically i have been having a reaction to wearing my masks and basically i now have something called perioral dermatitis which I thought, oh, I, I'll just not wear makeup for a week and, you know, use the creams that the doctor gave me and it'll be gone and I can go back to doing videos. Um, turns out it wasn't what the first thought. Turns out I had that burn. <laughs> the thought it was just like, like normal dermatitis, um, like a allergy rash, which you can get rid of fairly quickly. But turns out I've got um, peroral dermatitis, which takes six minimum of six to 12 weeks to get rid of. I can't use anything on my face besides from um, the antibiotics that they've given me. They've given me antibiotic cream and I might eventually have to take antibiotics as well because that's the only thing that gets rid of it. So I'm thinking I can't put makeup on for six to 12 weeks and yeah. I also am very sensitive to the sun apparently even when it's cloudy I have to protect my face from the sun. So now I'm a plonker going around wearing hats everywhere because I can't have sun cream on my face to protect it from the sun. And with the cream I'm using, I'm sensitive to UV rays. So yes, so you have to ignore the no makeup phase. I actually did my hair today, which is kind of surprising because I kept thinking, what's the point of dressing nice and doing my hair and makeup, or doing my hair if I can't do my makeup, it just looks like I'm not finished, <laughs> but getting ready. So yeah, you're gonna see me in the next three months with no makeup on for most of my videos. <laughs> so yes, apologies for that, but I'm gonna get in to the Poundland haul. I was slightly disappointed. I'm usually disappointed in Poundland. For some reason for the past year, I've been really disappointed in Poundland. Um, because the summer stuff's good. They've got a load of traveling stuff, which I don't see the point in getting. Like, what's the point of having it? We can't go anywhere at the minute. So, um, yeah, and I mean, I know people have got things planned for, say, September, so why don't we just do it then? But, you know, these next couple of months at least have filled themselves with something else. So I was hoping to get, like, mm, some fun bits for the kids. And there were also, like, buckets and spades. We've got no sand here, so there's no point. And, and like, water guns and stuff, which we've got plenty of. But I wanted some more chalk for the kids, the outdoor chalk, and they had none, which was very disappointing. I need to see if there's another Poundland that's, like better but than our local one we used to have a really big one um that wasn't a massive drive from here but they've closed it down so we're going to go a small one but yeah i'm going to get started anyway um it's just i've got loads of random bits and bobs i'm just going to basically pull whatever is out like the top of the bag so uh yeah i've got a few snacky stuff not too much now because trying to avoid, avoid the snacky stuff but we don't have actually any chocolate in the house whatsoever and I'm not buying any multi packs of chocolate anymore I'm not doing it because they just get eaten by me or the kids and then I complain about it because we've eaten too much chocolate so <laughs> um, I bought small snacks rather than chocolate and stuff got some snaps Andrew's obsessed with these um, I love them as well they're like tomato flavoured mine are tangy toms they're my favourite ones then um, but yeah, he loves these and I can't really find them at my like Aldi and places that I go to like that. So I grabbed them when I go to Thailand. Uh, some kitchen foil, because for some strange reason, I've not been able to find kitchen foil. So um, at Aldi that I go to, <laughs> um, or I just keep walking past in it and forgetting it and can't bother to go back. So uh, yeah, I got some kitchen foil whilst I remembered. Trying to get the, the snackiest stuff. Right, I asked Ava today what she wants from Poundland because I said I'd get her some chocolate or sweets or something, but obviously a smaller version, not a massive one. So she picked, if I can find it, uh, she asked for lollipops. So yeah, we've not got any chocolate over it, but we've got lollipops, which is fine because I can control these a little bit better than chocolate. And I won't be eating them. Um, and then for like the more snacky stuff, we've just got some like the mini chocolate chip cookies and the Johnny Dodgers. Um, but yeah, no actual chocolate chocolate bars, which is good. Um, I also 
got some of these, the Linen Fresh ones. They only had two cents, which is the Linen Fresh and like a pinky one. I think, ooh, I think the pinky one is the one I got last time. Um, but this is Cotton Fresh. So, and we've got three bathrooms. Um, well, three, yeah, three, three bathrooms. Two bathrooms and a toilet. Um, so I got three because the last time I got these were forever ago and they're still in there but the water's practically gone in it and they don't I can't tell anymore that they're actually working so yeah I've got three of these to put in all of the bathrooms um I got Ava another Peppa Pig book there were two in there that she hadn't got but I just wanted to pick up the one because I don't want to keep getting loads um, they, they do books about um, certain things so like Ava has a cobweb ones like it's called spooky something um, she has a get, get a fit one busy 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 one um, basically stuff like that and I think there's something called pig in the middle that's the one she hasn't got but then they also do them about the characters so she's got a lot of them already um, but this is one that she hasn't which is the panda twins which is uh, yeah so I thought I'd get her this one, but she loves them. They're perfect for like bedtime because um, they're not too small, but they're not too big to where I feel like I'm reading for like 20 minutes and they're card as well. So Ava can't rip them because she's a pain for ripping books by accident. Um, so yeah, I got her that. Um, I also got the kids something else as well. I couldn't find these at first and I was gutted because I recently got some, I don't know if you can see here, but um, a light frame, I'm here. Um, I was worried that they look kind of tacky and it's one of those where I'm like still slightly unsure about them. I don't know if you can see them very closely, but um, I'm putting them up there and leaving them there for a couple of weeks and see how I feel about them in a couple of weeks. Cause I think it's just because something's different, I don't like it. So. I'm leaving them there to see if I get used to it and start liking them. Even though I do like them, but I just find them weird. Does that make sense? Does anyone else like that? Like, they really like something, but when they put it in the place, they like it, but at the same time it just looks strange because they're not used to it being there. That's me, basically. Um, so I wanted to, well, I first went on Amazon trying to look for these, which are light stickers, and I came across them frames, so yeah. But I thought, you know what, let's just get it in Poundland anyway, because I couldn't find any I liked on Amazon. So the first one I got was for Andrew. I was debating about this or a rocket, but the rocket is unrealistic rocket. It's one of those that I like, the cartoon style rocket. It's not an actual, it looks like a rocket rocket. Um, so yeah, I got him an astronaut because he's into like space and stuff. And his room is black and grey um, and white. So that will kind of match perfectly. And then Ava, there's a few that I was debating about with Ava, is this one here. Um, there was like a couple of unicorns, but the way they were standing, you can't see the unicorn's arms because they're meant to go like behind the light. But they just looked weird and armless. And there's like princess castles and stuff, and then they have like robots, and they have loads of different ones. But um, I like this one because it looked like it was like drawn and things like this. is a stick on the back. Look how pretty that is. So, um... Yeah, this is to go around with their light switches. Um, I also got some drain, sink and drain gel because the sinks in the bathroom are doing my head in now. Um, taking forever to drain. So, yeah, I'm hoping, I've tried all the bits, but I'm hoping this works. Put that up there. Um, also got a foot peel mask because, you know, it's getting warmer my feet look gross so i got one of these so i can start wearing my sandals um definitely recommend them but um they you've got to yeah it says you've got to work for 90 minutes it starts working within seven to ten days trust me it is seven to ten days um when i first got them and i took the mask i thought oh this is crap i don't do a thing i'm so surely it doesn't work after seven to ten days that's just silly and i just thought they were rubbish but then like a week later yeah my feet was peeling so um yeah i recommend if you're going away or you're wearing sandals whatever and your feet grows wear these but it does take a few days to start working um and probably after them 10 days to two weeks your feet completely look normal with no peeling and stuff so 
yes. Um, also going off that type of thing, well not feet, but you know, hygiene and stuff. I've got some more deodorant, I love this one. Um, yeah, I always wear dark colours, so I have to get the anti-white one. Um, and some body wash. I've started using, you know, for my hair, I've been using the banana one. Um, it's like the hair food one for Garnier, I think it's from. Um, and I love it, but I ran out and I really wanted to try the watermelon one, but I couldn't find it So I tried I got the coconut one instead because I love the smell of coconut and I love it I washed my hair yesterday and it's so soft um, But I love the smell of coconut so I thought I'll grab the coconut one of the Nivea and I know Nivea is quite good on the skin um, Even though obviously I'm not washing my face my skin is still quite sensitive everywhere else, but um, Yeah, I've got coconut oil one of those because like I said, I just love the scent. So I'm going to be smelling of coconut. I've got the body butter as well from there. Um, but I've been, I'm not been using it just because of the fact that when I put cream on and then you go to touch your face, it it goes to your face. That's why I had to look at everything where we had to figure out, trying to figure out what it was. But because I don't change products very often, we figured it was just the mask. So. Um, so yeah, even putting like the creams on my kids, I've got to be careful afterwards to like wash, try and wash my hands and get it all off so I don't touch my face and irritate it even more. Um, some AAA batteries. Um, we've got some, we've got a few double A's left but we completely ran out of the AAA's. So we've been stealing them from the remotes to use them in like the kids toys that they got for the birthday. So <laughs> I got a pack of triple A's. And also some of this because I have the tiniest amount left. Um, and yeah, I tend to get the massive one from B&M, but at the minute I am avoiding B&M because of, well, since before Easter, a couple of weeks before Easter from then, I was avoiding B&M because of the massive kind of like Easter rush that you get from B&M with all the eggs. So I thought let's just keep getting these ones from Boundland. Um, so yeah, the I mean it lasted me quite a while still, so I'm just making sure I'm not putting a scoop full, I put like half a scoop full. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything I've got. Most of it, like I said, was like cleaning stuff and top up of things. Um, but yeah, disappointed in some of them because like I said I wanted some chalk, but I'm so glad they have these. Like a massive war form and I was just ready to give up and then just as I were kind of walking out, I, not walking out, but you know, walking towards the way you pay. Um, it's like in the middle aisle, I just like randomly, tiny little bit there. And I was like, right, yeah, found them. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to putting them on. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye.